Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello to you and welcome back to the channel where you join me in Melbourne, Australia at the Grand Prix weekend because it's the start of the Pagani Raduno. Until this moment, there has only been one Pagani here in Australia, but the dealership has just opened, the Raduno is to celebrate it, and behind me is a lineup of special edition Zondas and Huayras, and they're about to embark on a little convoy. So let's rewind a moment, head down to the garage, check out the cars, and see them firing up and getting set for this special day. Let's get started right here. There are two Huayras. There are more Paganis to come in a second, but the first one here is the Huayra Dynastia, one of three. It's purple carbon fiber, as you can see, with gold wheels, the almost Tiffany blue accents around the splitter. If we come around the car, it's got the Tricolore stripe running the full uh, around the canopy area, and then it has that fin, the shark fin at the back, blue anodized tail surrounds, a British car from the UK on the number plate. Purple and gold is a winning combination. And then next to it is another Huayra. This one is the Huayra SM edition, which has a different diffuser, very sporty a diffuser going on down at the back there, but the blue, stunning paintwork. Lovely, lovely things, these cars. And then, say hello to Zondas. Just take these in. Zonda 760. Wow. I think this is the Zonda Viola. Yes. Ginormous wing across the back. Shark fin, roof scoop, even a purple exhaust surround at the back. And we've got Cinque Roadster. Wow, the purple, purple anodized center locks. Oh, this one has light blue in the interior as well. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Then the one of five Zonda Cinque Roadster. Familiar with this car, of course. I'm sure you guys have seen it on the internet before. Only five of them. The Zonda Cinque, perhaps the most iconic. With the roof off right now. With that paint scheme, the white, the pearl white with the red accents against the carbon fiber from Dubai on this car. They made five coupes, five, cin five roadsters, Cinque, literally Italian for number five. And then the Zonda Fantasma Evo. This is a reiteration, it's been reborn as a 760. Scoop, massive wing. Love the colour. Again, carbon fibre. It's all visual carbon fibre. This car's actually from Hong Kong. It's got a super cool number plate. 3E, 3E. This is just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous to have these here. Look at the thing. Look at the canards, the splitter. Look at that lineup of three cars. Fantasma, Cinque, Viola. Just get that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Sweet, sweet sound of Zonda V12. Naturally aspirated 7.3 litre. Epic. Look at this on the move. Absolute insanity. So we'll have to say farewell to the Dynastia, one of three, and to the Viola. That's possibly my favorite. I know a lot of people love the Cinque. I really, really like that car, but let us get outside into, well, unfortunately the rain, but at least some daylight. It's go time. Cinque rolling out. That thing is just phenomenal. Wire a Tempesta to follow it. Look at these things, here especially. Obviously drawn out the crowds, photographers are plenty today to see the cars going out on the roads. Here 
comes then the Zonda S, the silver Zonda S, the last one of the lineup, one of the original earlier Zondas. British number plate, classy specification. Just look at this, look at this little lineup here. This is incredible to see out here. Goodness me. Off they all go. And as usual, a couple of other cars join the event. So the 570S here, for example, it's on dress, and I am going to be jumping into the Bentley as soon as it gets down towards the end here. Here we go then, we're following a Quattroporte GTS, but we would like to see some more Pagani, so let's see what we can make happen. This is quite frankly absolutely mental. Four Paganis on the road. sunshine right now looks awesome the diffuser on the back of it incredible and then you go to the original Zonda the Zonda S one of which I've driven before <laughs> imagine that these came out 19 years ago now the first Zonda was launched and then the wire is the latest model of course evolved into various different configurations. The Cinque Special Edition, the Phantasma Evo Special Edition. Stunning. Hey, the Bentley's got something in it as well. Sounds good, this thing. V8S. I'm just loving this view in the mirror of one of the most iconic poster cars of now. Traffic jam problems, yep, just a bunch of Paganis, normal stuff. Woohoo, the crack! That noise would never get old. That's what a proper Formula One car sounds like. Mega! Unsurprisingly, when you park a lineup of Paganis in a car park, it draws quite a crowd. But just look at these three to have them here. Actually quite fun with three different number plates. I'm not entirely sure where that car is actually from. Um, but obviously Dubai and Hong Kong between these two. But these were later iterations of the Zonda. It's quite interesting to have one of the earlier models, the S, and then to be able to compare how the Cinque, in this case the Phantasma Evo, this is almost one of the final iterations. There have been some slight deviations on it, but to have the fin running back from the scoop on the roof, the full crazy wing with the gurney flaps on the back of it, the carbon movable actually as well, you can loosen them and shuffle the position. 
and then the purple of the exhaust system down there just yes, sounds phenomenal the diffuser the way that's shaped the side scoops for cooling air intake the louvers on the front arch to reduce the air swelling the way it's you can actually see straight through there through to carbon components inside the car and then down to the front splitter at the bottom with the end canards too these things are just incredible and to be here like the suction noise well actually even better in the uh, Cinque with the Roadster of course but the suction noise and air intake out of this world absolutely out of this world quick look at the interior if you're not familiar with the interior of the cars Roadster three out of five stunning interior a lot of people wonder what those things in the middle of the seats are those are for adjusting the pitch of the seat works of art as they're often called true works of art and then to one of the earlier cars so we had a quick look at it earlier but this wasn't actually the first sonda the original c12 that launched at the geneva motor show in 1999 was a little bit different from this the s came with a slightly larger engine up to 7.3 liters instead of the 7 liter v12 that came in the original car it sharpened up a little bit so new carbon fiber parts the front nose cone became a little bit more aggressive but you have things on the early cars like the a pillar mirrors that have moved to the wings on the 760s that we know and obviously up to 760 horsepower on the newest versions of the car but doesn't that look good in the sunshine here in Australia <laughs> Departure time, sunshine now on the cars, heavenly. Bye bye Cinque. by Fantasma. How ridiculous is it to have the Cinque here? Absolutely absurd. <laughs> Mega. Bye bye for now Paganis. Awesome. So off they go. We're heading in a slightly different direction now. At the Quattroporte slide through as well. We're going to be going off towards the Grand Prix. They're going to continue the Raduno, but what an awesome time this has been just seeing the cars, seeing them being driven here in Australia. Wow, absolutely incredible. Thank you, Horatio Pagani, for making such wonderful cars, and thank you to the owners and organizers for bringing them here to have the opportunity to see them around the Melbourne Grand Prix. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this one up for there. So thank you very much for watching as always, guys. Make sure to check out plenty more content on the channel from this tour to Down Under to Australia and New Zealand. What an epic visit it's been. Anyway, thanks again, and I'll see you very soon. Cheers.